My name is Kevin Nelson. I'm the senior electrical engineer for Victor Motorcycles. I was responsible for the entire electrical design. Both the crossroads and the cross country have the same headlight. It's uh, got 110 watts on high beam. It's a very bright light and it gives a very wide pattern. Most other motorcycles only have a 60 watt high beam where we've got two bulbs that are on 55 watts a piece so that gives you 110 watts on high beam which is a lot of power to put out on the road. The cross country and the cross road share the same tail light. It's one of the largest tail lights available on a motorcycle in this segment. Compared to the competitors you'll see that the light is much larger and when you put the brake light on it just pops. All the turn signals are also LED. The crossroad speedometer is not like most other speedometers found on other motorcycles. So what it has is a nice big analog display for the speed. There's also an LCD display. That display contains various trip computer information, all of which can be accessed without taking your hand off the handlebar. The biggest advantage over much of the competition is the fact that it's mounted up nice and high right in your line of sight. So the instrument cluster that's used on the cross country is the same cluster that's used on the Vision. There's two large round analog gauges for speed and tech, two more analog gauges for battery voltage and your fuel gauge, and the bottom line is a trip computer. So without taking your hand off the handlebar, you can scroll through the functions of the trip computer using the button located on the front half of the handlebar control. The different functions in the trip computer are the odometer, two trip meters, average fuel mileage, your average speed, your fuel range, or how many miles you can go until you run out of gas, your instantaneous fuel mileage, and a trip timer. The cross country has two speakers located up in the fairing. And they're 20 watts per channel, so it's a 40 watt system. It's got automatic volume control, which automatically increases the volume as your speed increases. In addition to AM and FM bands, the cross country also has a weather band. Victory is offering the latest GPS technology from Garmin. On the cross country, it mounts right on the handlebar, it plugs directly into the bike, and it's integrated with the audio system, so all of your turn-by-turn -turn directions come right through the speakers so you'll never miss a turn. One of the other benefits of the Garmin unit is the fact that it's portable. So one of my favorite features of the cross country infotainment system is the fact that you can connect up your iPod and you can control it from the handlebar. Victory sells an accessory where you can locate your iPod in your saddlebag, there's a nice pouch here, keeps your iPod secure, keeps it plugged into the bike. The whole time it's plugged in, it charges off the bike, and that's what allows you to control it from the handlebar. All the audio accessories are plug and play. If you don't have an accessory connected, nothing shows up. As soon as you do add an accessory, the menus update, and you can now adjust all the different settings for that new accessory. If all the features that a rider wants are on the bike, they all work good, they're all easy to use, and they don't have any problems. Then I know that my job is done and I did a good job.